Meg, what the hell? I was watching that. It's time for Kirk Cameron. And I think it's important for all of you to hear his inspiring message about the Word of God. Ah, uh, again, Meg? You know, I think it's wonderful you found something to have faith in, but there's such a thing as moderation. Ugh, Mom, you sound like a non-believer. Brian, you're a thoughtful person. Are you willing to open yourself up to God's truth? Oh, you're, you're barking up the wrong tree, Meg. I'm an atheist. <gasps> What's that? I don't believe in God. Uh, what? Brian, how can you say that? Why, well, I, I just thought you knew. I mean, I'd never go to church. You know how I feel about that. No, uh, Brian, it's one thing to bash organized religion, but we believe in God in this house. I mean, an atheist, uh, that's just about the worst thing a person can be. You're not going to get anything for Christmas, Brian! Guys, I'm just trying to say... Shut up, beast! I have dominion over you, and I command you to believe in God. I'm sorry, I just don't see any evidence. I mean, look at the Hubble telescope. It's discovered untold wonders of a vast, unexplored universe, but not one picture of a guy with a beard sitting around on a cloud. I mean, what's he doing up there? You know, you keep talking like that, God's gonna get you, Brian. He's gonna get you with the Kodak disc. Oh, God's gonna get you with the Kodak disc. I'm sorry, what were we talking about? Hey, Brian, in hopes that you'll open your heart to God, I wanted to give you this cross. No, I don't want a cross. Would you want it if I threw it over there? No, please don't do that. You gonna get it, boy? No, please, no. Go get it, boy! <laughs> okay, give it back now. <laughs> Brian, Kirk Cameron is the one who converted me, but unfortunately, he's not available, so I got his younger brother from Growing Pains. Will you guys buy me a case of Sudafed? Don't you want to tell Brian about Jesus? They got my picture up at the drugstore and they won't sell me any Sudafed. I'll make it worth your while. Ben! Dad! Ben! What have I told you about trading sexual favors for Sudafed? Look, Meg, I've had enough of this. You're not going to convert me. But, Brian, I just want you to feel the joy that I feel. I mean, the church makes me feel accepted and safe and part of something bigger than myself. But, Meg, you don't need an outside voice to feel those feelings. They're inside you. What you call God is inside you, all of us. And I just hate to see people hating and killing each other over their own interpretation of what they're not smart enough to understand. You see what I'm saying? Oh, I do, Brian. And I think I know just what to do. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Our top story tonight, just when you thought the world couldn't be any more dangerous, Channel 5 News has discovered that there is an atheist among us. Local churchgoer and junior Christian soldier Meg Griffin has identified the atheist as Brian Griffin of Spooner Street. Here's the reaction from City Hall. Uh, shocking, to say the least. I'd rather have a terrorist living in our midst. At least they believe in a god. Even if it's a smelly brown god. Meg! How the hell could you do something like this? If a man hath ears, let him hear, Brian. All right, what's, what's the worst that could happen? This is the 21st century. People are tolerant. Well, this is nothing. Probably just a random act of violence. I thought only he without sin could cast the first Prius.